Hey, this is High Tech Gaming here, and today I have an interesting video for you guys. Today I'm going to be comparing the performance, specifically the CPU performance, of the Odroid C1 Plus when compared to an older computer. So the two computers we're going to be comparing are the Odroid C1 Plus. You probably already know the specs, but in case you don't, it's a quad-core 32-bit ARM system on chip type computer, uh, like the Raspberry Pi 2, and it is clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. It has one gigabyte of DDR3 32-bit uh, 792 megahertz RAM. And against that, we have our Pentium 4 computer. It is a Pentium 4, uh, which is a dual core, hyper-threaded, so actually only a physical single core, 32-bit processor clocked at 3 gigahertz. This is a socket 478 one, so this is uh, DDR along with AGP. So it's pretty old. It's a, I think it was manufactured around 2002. And the amount of RAM we have in the system is one gigabyte of DDR, which is at a 64-bit bus, and it is running at 266 megahertz. So um, let's do some tests and compare how they perform, and I can guarantee the results will surprise you. Our test suites today consist of all of the built-in CPU benchmarks in Lubuntu, which include uh, CPU Blowfish, CryptoHash, Fibonacci, and Endqueens, along with running a startup test to compare the boot times of the two devices. I'm not going to bother putting in video of me testing the boot time of the Odroid C1 because I already did this in my previous video, my SD card test where I compared uh, UHS class 4 SD card at a class 10 one. So I suggest you check that out if you're interested. And uh, I'll go ahead and post the results. So the Pentium 4 computer took 1 minute and 12.617 seconds to start up, while the Odroid C1 Plus with the class 10 SD card took 44.872 seconds. So as we can see, the Odroid is much faster at starting up than the uh, Pentium 4 computer, but this is probably due to the uh, nature of SATA 1 and the slowness of the laptop drive that I'm using. I can almost guarantee, though I haven't tested it, that the uh, SD card would outperform the SATA drive in almost any situation. So here are the results for the CPU benchmark. The first test I ran, CryptoHash, um, displays results in highest is better. And as you can see, the Pentium 4 produced a score of 88.42 compared to the Odroid's 26.09. The next tests I did were all lowest is better. So they were time test and the lowest amount of time that I could complete the test would be the score. For the Pentium 4 and Endqueens, it produces a score of 11.45, while the Odroid C1 Plus produced a score of 30.96. In Fibonacci, the Pentium 4 produced a score of 4.14, and the Odroid C1 a score of 11.21. In Blowfish, the last test I ran, the Pentium 4 produced a score of 11.71, and the Odroid a score of 38.16. As we can see, the Pentium 4 surprisingly outperforms the Odroid C1 despite having a two core less advantage over the C1. This is really surprising considering my prediction, which was that they were going to perform nearly identically given their same amount of RAM. And since the Odroid has two more cores, it is clocked at exactly half the clock speed of the Pentium 4. However, it appears that these numbers do not work out to having exactly the same amount of processing power, at least not in these benchmarks. And this could be due to differences such as the difference between x86 and ARM architectures, the instructions per clock, or maybe even the RAM causing the issue, considering that I think the uh, DDR would have a lot more bandwidth than the uh, DDR3 and the Odroid because there are two sticks of RAM instead of one, so that could be running in dual channel mode, along with um, <clears throat> the data rate just being higher. However, the clock speed on the Odroid's RAM is much higher than that of the Pentium 4, so it's still very surprising that the x86 would outperform the Odroid to this level in every test that I performed. The reason I didn't do any uh, video card tests is because neither of these two computers have proper graphics drivers, um, so there was no universal test that I could run on them given that the Odroid uses OpenGL ES and the Pentium 4's graphics card is at OpenGL 1.0, so that wouldn't really be a fair comparison. 
But this is a very interesting test because it, it shows us that even though the Odroid is over 10 years newer than the Pentium 4, the Pentium 4 is still a powerhouse um, compared to it, which is really surprising. But the thing you have to consider is that the Pentium 4 used so much more power than the Odroid. I don't have an exact number, but it produces, that computer I know, produces much more heat than the Odroid, and it uses up. It can use up to 460 watts, whereas the Odroid is powered off of currently an iPad charger. So what this really tells us is that even though these single board computers have come a really long way in terms of performance, they're still not up to par to what we would consider a high performance computer 10 years ago. And with this, uh, I would like you to I would like to thank you for watching this video and please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos on the Odroid C1.